Hey everybody! So as you can tell, everything around me is quite different. This is a different angle of my room and it's because I got new lighting. Works really well with my inconvenient school schedule and yeah, so just a little update about that. So today's video is inspired by my style icon Alexa Chung. I just think she has the most effortless and cool style out there. It's why I cut my bangs. There's just, I, I'm completely ripping off Alexa Chun. So I will show you how I got this makeup look and then towards the end of the video, I put together a little bit of a lookbook for you guys, just putting together the basic pieces that she usually wears. So let's begin. So let's start with Alexa's perfect skin. And as you can see, my skin is far from perfect. But to fake it, I'm using Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua in B40 and this gives the most natural, satin, almost dewy finish. Now, I'm not going to highlight under my eyes, but I am going to cover up my dark under eye circles with a dark peachy corrector just to completely knock them out. And now to cover up my blemishes, I'm using NYX's HD Concealer because it is truly the best at covering them up. And I'm powdering with just a loose translucent powder. This is one from Laura Mercier. Now, Alexa's cheeks are usually very understated, and for this I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion. As you can see, it's a really pretty peach. And now to give myself the cheekbones, I will blend this out later, even though it looks pretty scary. I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit with that very cool toned shade, and I'm basically going to give myself more sculpted cheekbones because, as you can see, I'm lacking in that department. Now for the brows, I want to keep them extremely natural. I am literally drawing on hairs here with a dip brow pomade and a very, very thin synthetic angled brush. I am just basically drawing on the hairs where I need, making sure they look very wispy and not too bold or strong at all. Now onto the eyes, I'm using the Lorac Pro Palette, starting with Pewter, just a very beautiful, unique, taupey brown shade to go all over the lid, basically can adapt to any crease area of your eye to make it darker there, but I am blending it out with a clean brush first, and then I'm going to apply it all over the lower lash line from outer to inner corner. And to deepen up my socket, I'm going to make a rounder socket with the color Sable, and this is going to contrast the winged liner very nicely, and it's going to give me a little bit more of a deep set appearance rather than a winged out eye. But I am going to do Alexa's signature winged liner and I'm using the Lorac liquid liner and it is a very 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 precise liner. I'm not going to do too huge of a flick, hers is a little bit more of just like a very nice medium flick size and it is usually black and with liquid liner. And now I'm just going to apply some mascara. She doesn't wear falsies usually, so I'm just going to leave it at the mascara on the upper and lower lashes, but make sure to hit the lower lashes for a cute 60s appearance. For the lips, she usually has nothing to little on, so I'm going with a rosy combination of a NARS lip pencil and a Kat Von D lipstick, which is very sheerly applied. And that's the makeup look.
you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you enjoyed it and if you would like me to create other inspiration videos by other celebrities. I just did Alexa Chung because like I said in the intro, she is amazing and I love her. Please look at the description box for all of the products used, links to clothing items, etc, etc. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Yeah.